A lot of players removed from the final injury report. But what do we know about Jordan Howard? The interesting thing about Howard to me is that he didn't appear on the injury report at all. That means he took all the reps that they had in practice. Uh, It's a surprise because we know he talked about his shoulder. He came in and out of the game last week. He talked about the fact that he was hurt and he just wanted to play for his teammates. Obviously put up a great performance, but we know he's not 100%. So don't be fooled by his lack of presence on the injury report, if you will, in the sense that it doesn't mean he's 100% healthy, but he obviously showed he could be productive despite the injury. You just never know when it's going to get aggravated. So, again, I started him last week. I'm going to start him again tonight, four days later. But just beware. It's present, even though it's not present on the injury report. I'm going to circle back to the injury report in a second, only to get through the Howard conversation, Mike. Obviously, I mean, almost obviously, if you own him, you are starting him tonight, given his ability, given the fact he's off the injury report. But a question that we get a decent amount is one that I think is sort of more philosophy than it is week four specific. If I own Tariq Cohen and I own Jordan Howard, and that might be the case because Tariq Cohen is still available in a nice chunk of leagues. Do you have any issue with playing both of them? I don't. I mean, if you wanted to explore a deal and you wanted to get away from that, knowing that Cohen's not really your conventional handcuff, you know, if if Howard goes down, we're not going to see Cohen get 20 carries, even though this is a run heavy offense. So he's, he's, he's limited in his ceiling. And we'll talk more about that in a second. Uh, But that said, if you have both guys and they're your best two options, you know, if you have, uh, we have him ranked, I have him at 23 and 15. You use him. Why would you start a guy that we have projected or you feel is going to score eight points instead of a guy that maybe you think will score 10 points just because they're on the same team? Obviously, long term, you worry about this offense just falling apart. The quarterback's a mess. They can't score points and it crushes your team. But then that's why you explore trades. On a week to week basis, you start your best players. Yeah, along those lines, and so if you had a pair of wide receivers on the same team or if you had a quarterback and a wide receiver on the same team, you are making each lineup decision as an independent movement. It's not, hey, I have Cohen, but if you know if he does poorly, but Howard else does, like, you know, everything has to be made individually, independent of the other players on your roster. 